What's going on guys? Josh Sykes, OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. I'm super excited today uh, to be going to the Gun Owners of America first year having their goals conference here in wonderful Knoxville, Tennessee. Go Vols! Yeah, you're not going to see me complaining about being on Rocky Top. I absolutely love it. Uh, here to see some cool stuff. I know it's not just a huge show. This is their first year having it, but there are a lot of top quality manufacturers signed up to be here. So I'm looking forward to walking the show and trying to find some cool stuff to show you while I am here. If you're not involved with Gun Owners of America, shame on you. You should be involved in it. $25 a year you can become a member of Gun Owners of America. This group actively puts their money where their mouth is. They go out here uh, on a monthly basis and they're fighting the system for you. They're fighting uh, to protect your Second Amendment right uh, and, and you should be proud of that as an American. That is a right that you should want protected. Uh, but so yeah, be sure and check them out. But for right now guys, Let's go over to the convention center and let's go to the show. Let's see what's going on at GOAL Goals 2024 in Knoxville, Tennessee. Let's go to the show. What's going on, guys? Josh Sykes back with you, Outdoor News America. Rob, continuing coverage of the Goals Show in Knoxville, Tennessee. Going great. Here with my buddy Rob Pincus at the Avenity Arms booth. Rob, show us what you got here today. We have the Avenity Arms PD-10 pistol. Uh, it's a very, very thin single stack, obviously, mid-size gun that allows a full two-handed grip. Very carryable, very shootable. And the ergonomic design, the original idea was let's fit as many human hands as possible right out of the gate. Uh, wanting, you know, a couple decades in the training side of the industry and seeing thousands of hands on thousands of guns, really, I think, understanding kind of how we could build a gun that would fit a lot of hands, be very low into the hand, but also very carryable, and you'd be able to run all the controls with one hand only, but because our width front to back is still a standard length, while we're very thin here, it's not one of those guns that the hand swallows up and that you get lost on or your pinky's hanging off of like a lot of the micro guns. Yeah. So we can still get a second hand on there and that makes the gun just that much more controllable, right? Um, four inch barrel, again, a lot of the thin guns have very short barrels and that means the gun's gonna be snappier. And a lot of the guns sit higher over the hand. More plastic here, higher uh, bore axis and a, and a taller slide and that means a lot more of this and a lot less of this. And we're driving out, getting into that triangle, supporting that recoil straight back, it's just going to be a lot faster follow-up shots, especially again with that extra weight of the extra inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch uh, over those short barreled guns, having that extra slide out there. A lot of people will talk about the sight radius. Um, we're using the claw sights uh, that I did with Ameriglow 12, 13 years ago on the big square tritium insert, a big open rear notch uh, so you can find the angles from that uh, front sight. And of course that's blacked out so we're not getting any distraction and it has the claw feature for one-handed emergency manipulation if you need that. The optic cut is RMSC or uh, Hollow Sun EPS carry 407K, 507K. Um, this is a Viridian on here. The one I'm carrying is uh, we're in a Gideon today. And almost all of those optics allow the use of the standard sights that we ship out with the gun. Um, and again, the ergonomics here, uh, short fingers, like big meat paws, you know, but, yeah. but short fingers, stubby stubby thumbs and fingers, it'll still work. Awesome. Woman, uh, long, slender, delicate fingers. Uh, the trigger guard relief here allows the finger to come down without getting caught. In I even fingers. noticed you got a, a, a big space here for gloves. If well, somebody's a lot of people say that's kind of the way we usually yeah. think of it from a duty size gun is gloves, but really what that is is because the, the gun's so slim, again, especially long fingers or really guys yeah. with big hands, we don't want your finger up here clipping that trigger guard as you come to the trigger. True. So that relief is more about getting a larger hand on a slimmer gun cleanly to the trigger. Very nice. Right? And then uh, obviously accessory rail for laser light, laser light combo, whatever right. you might want there. Uh, it is 10 plus one, single stack gun, uh, claw emergency manipulator on the, the magazine as well. Uh, in nine millimeter, uh, but we did release a 30 super carry version and that 30 super carry version is 12 plus one uh, and that's new to the market. We're the only new gun to the market for 30 super 
Super Cavalry this year. Very cool. So we've been working really closely with Federal to help them promote uh, that round. Very cool round, very capable round. I like 30 uh, Super Cavalry. And, and especially out of a, of a bigger gun, honestly. Yeah. That, that round still has potential out to about 10 inches. Sure. Now, we're not going to do a 10-inch version, but the 4-inch version is a lot better than you might see out of a 3-inch version. Exactly. And, uh, we're excited about being partnered up with them on that. Right. Now, Rob, if somebody wanted to purchase one of these guns or look, find more information, what's the website they need to go to? Avididyarms.com. A-V-I-D-I-T-Y.com. Arms.com. Uh, find us on internet, find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, Twitter. Just look All out, look out for it, you'll find it. And now, great. Outdoor News Outdoor America. News. Also, that's awesome. Nice. Hey, that's okay, man. Listen, I'm you still know, learning and I didn't want to I'm cheat. not as popular as you, uh, you know, so I get O-N-A, it. O-N-A, totally, Outdoor News America. <laughs> I totally understand. Hey, guys, let's keep covering the show. Ready. All right, what's going on, guys? Josh Sykes with the Outdoor News America. Adam, continuing coverage of the GOA show in Knoxville. I got to hold this camera up high. This is my buddy, Adam. He's he's about nine foot tall. So great. <laughs> How tall are you? Seven? Six foot ten. Six ten. Yes. Yeah. It's like I'm here with Shaq. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, he's got some cool new products from Century Arms. Adam, show us what you got here. Today. Absolutely. So the first thing we're going to talk about, we got to talk about, it kind of caught your eye. Yes. We know the AP5 obviously has been iconic over the last couple of years in terms of kind of changing the approachability of the MP5, that roller delay platform, simply on cost. I mean, the reality is the gun is the same gun. It's on original HK tooling, original HK technical data package, metallurgy, and actually the only gun outside of HK to be licensed oh, by wow. HK. Wow. So this is actually made in the MK facility in Turkey. It's off of all original project that was created by MK with HK Very and has been for over 20 years. You guys got to see this. I'm going to bring the camera down and kind of do a little quick pan by. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is obviously we all know what an MP5 variant kind of looks like. Sure. Traditionally, this is how it's coming in. But now where that that issue lies is how are we really run in this guy. Right. You know, right. and, and with the uncertainty of race versus no race, is right. legal? Right. Am I a felon today? Am right. I a bad guy? Is this allowed? Absolutely. Common sense gun laws kind of thing, you know. But we said, hey, how do we control the destiny of this gun of the shooter and not and kind of have to get past all that? I don't want to have the SBR, I don't want to have, but I want to have fun with this platform. Right. So we created the AP5L. Now the first thing you're gonna notice obviously on this is this long uh, protrusion here for the yes. front. This actually is not a suppressor. This is actually a shroud for a 16 inch barrel on this rifle. There you go, so it's a rifle. It is a rifle. So this is actually under here, as you can see, I mean, it kind of just, you can, we won't take it all the way off, but this is actually just simply threaded yeah, on here. Yeah. So it is it's made actually by uh, Atlas. Joe Mo over there did this for us, yeah. made this for us. Plus but it looks freaking cool. It looks cool, <laughs> and it's still threaded barrel, so you can actually yeah. take that off and put an actual suppressor Plus a 16 inch it. barrel, you're gonna get more accuracy. You're yeah, exactly, more and now with that, now you can have some fun with this collapsible stock, yes. you got the Magpul ambi, uh, ambi safety, you got that, that Magpul lower, you got some really cool feature sets that allow it now, it's 922R compliant, meaning wow. you can import it, and all this stuff, and like you said, this gun's already a joy to shoot in yeah. terms of reliability, yeah. in terms of actual recoil, but now with that 16 inch barrel. And you said price points <laughs> around 1500 bucks? About 1500 bucks. So, so that's a lot better than 11,500 bucks. Exactly. Yeah, so so the, there you go, guys. So this is actually available now, uh, distributors like Lipsy's will be carrying this, it's available on retail stores. So go to your local dealer and say, you saw it, you want to order it. Absolutely. And, and just about any distributor. Absolutely, and it's, and it's out there now, and we're really excited about it. It's exactly. So you got something else over here you want to show me, too. Let's you know, walk over there and see yeah. that. I'm back up and running. You know Sorry what? about that, guys. <laughs> we didn't lose much. Yeah, that's the worst we thing that happens We didn't lose today. much. So, so this rifle right here, Quick, quick elevator speech on it again. Yeah, absolutely. So it's you know it's imported from overseas. We did the we bought the entire allotment of of a, of a, of a country's military uh, storage or stockpile of their G3s. Brought them in. Had to cut down the receiver for compliance. Rebuilt the receiver with Love PTR. Uh, and now this gun, an original G3, running that 308 under 900 bucks. Under 900. How many of those did you guys acquire? Uh, it's it's less than 58,000 more than 55,000. Okay, okay, you know gotcha, what I mean? gotcha. That's a lot of them. Gotcha. So if you want one, guys, there's a limited number. Yeah, they're collectibles. Oh, now, will these be available? At, they 
they're actually Ooh, available yeah. now. They okay. are available now. Perfect. These just came out as well. But yeah, so they're, they're making them, you know, they are in limited batch in terms yes. of making them each month. Right, right. So if you're not having... Uh, so get your those, order yeah. in. Yeah, if you're not having the luck finding it, don't get discouraged. They're just awesome. coming out piece by piece. Adam, thank you so much. If they want oh, to find some more information, where do they need to go You got to go to centuryarms.com. You can check us out on all of our social media platforms as well. Perfect. And honestly, you know, we're always open for a phone call if you need us. Sounds great. Guys, let's keep covering the show. What's going on, guys? Josh Sykes with you, OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. Here are my new buddy, Ian, at Tag Precision. Listen, I've seen their products. This is the first time I've been able to see them personally. I know we've written about them a little bit on the blog. Ian, tell us what you guys got here today. Well, we've taken fiber optic sights, as you know them, and uh, kind of redesigned them. So we've done this from the ground up. We started with uh, your, your typical fiber, and we said, you know, that's really not good enough. Uh, we found a high tap fiber that's not chemical, uh, susceptible to chemical damage. It's uh, impact resistant, it's heat resistant. Uh, and with all that, we, we've had a great base to, to be able to create a sight set that's going to last you a life. So you don't have to worry about what you're cleaning your gun with. Right. You can Absolutely. spray them with gun scrubber, and it just kind of giggles, and you can keep cruising on. <laughs> and not, uh, show us some of the things you yep, got here yep. today. So our, our standard set right now is our TSF set. Uh, it's fiber front, fiber rear. We've given you a flat edge to cock on any, uh, any surface you want, right? That's a real popular feature that we wanted to make sure we maintain. With that, um, obviously, there's no flaring necessary with our fiber sights. So I'll show you real quick. Pop an Allen key in here. And you, you back this set screw out. You retain that puppy, and your fiber just pops right out, right? So, so you can change the color. At, at the drop of a hat. So what we've done is we've given you a fiber pack that has a bunch of different, that's a better better view for you, Yeah. a bunch of different colors. So if you had a fiber fiber set oh, okay. and you wanted a black to be, uh, a rear to be black, you just use black fiber. If you wanted a white dot, you can use the white. You can turn this into a three dot okay. kind of set that way. If you wanted them all to be the same color or you wanted to mix and match however you like, depending on your situation, nice. you have that ability. And all that comes in the package you get when you order the sights. So it's a secondary package. Okay. In, in, in the package with the sights, you get um, the sights as they are with a couple of replacement fibers and a, uh, you know, an info card about everything you need. Right. We sell this as, as a separate add-on. It's okay. 1095. $10.95. You can't beat that. You can't change that. out the colors as you please. Yes, sir. Ian, thank you so much. Anytime. And Ian, if they wanted some more information, where would they need to go to do uh, so? Tagprecision.com. Tagprecision.com. Guys, let's keep covering this show. What's going on, guys? Josh Sykes continuing coverage of the Gun Owners of America show, the first ever Gun Owners of America show. First Jared. show, you know. That's we're right. excited to be here, especially having a show in our hometown of Knoxville, Knoxville Tennessee. Tennessee. Guys, good old Rocky Top, as you guys know, I'm a Vols fan. Don't get mad at me, Jared. But I'm a Vols fan, so good to be here. Here with my buddy Jared, SDS Imports. Good to see you, Jared. Yeah, always good to see you. Show us what you got here today, so, Jared. We're here at the show in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're going to go over the English P35, which is our kind of new line of a very reminiscent model that James Browning uh, didn't get to finish designing before he unfortunately passed away, but it's one of his legacy guns, and that is, of course, the high power. And the English brand is a, another one of our sub-brands here at SDS Imports that we launched at SHOT Show last year, and we wanted to take that high power and make sure that it had that classic form factor because, you know, everyone is trying to modernize everything, and uh, we've done pretty good about making those kind of nostalgic or almost replicas of a lot of iconic firearms, and the, the P35 series is just that. They, you know, have a MSRP of less than 500 bucks on most of the models. So you're going to find them out there. This is the black version with the standard sights, but we have it in a nickel finish. We have a full color case hardened version as well. Nice. And for you guys that have more of a military uh, nostalgic you hold that background, one right. we have the L9A1. So not really a true one-to-one -one copy of the L9A1s that were famous, you know, in the 50s and beyond. But this one right here just gives it that really kind of nostalgic military look. So if you do have an original, it's something you could probably just leave in the gun safe if you're yeah. going to go out and relive. You can use Relive that. your British SAS dreams. <laughs> you can take this out to the range and blast away Very without cool. having to, to get those heirloom or those collectibles uh, beat up even more. You want to be a made up Peaky Blinder. Fairbanks Sykes Knife, get yourself a nice watch on, get, get out ready there. To roll. Boom. So, Very yeah. cool. So a lot of new stuff from Inglis this year, and hopefully at SHOT Show we'll have maybe some new stuff. Maybe some more stuff. Jared, thank you so much. If they no. want to get some more information, where do they go to do that? You can start at SDSimports.com. That's where you're going to find a lot of our, our main information, but EnglisManufacturing.com. I think it's actually EnglisMFG.com. And it's spelled I-N. Yeah, I-N-G-I-L-S. It's the original Canadian manufacturer. Right. They made high powers, you know, World War II on, until, yeah. you know, they decided to stop making guns, and 
we uh, were like, let's resurrect this brand just like we've done with, you know, a few others. Awesome. Jared, thank you so much, guys. Yep. Let's keep covering the show. What's going on, guys? Josh Sykes back with you. OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. Continuing coverage of the Gun Owners of America Goals Conference in Knoxville, Tennessee. Here with my friend Lindsay at the American Tactical Booth. They got some really cool stuff here at ATI, but Lindsay's got one new thing she wants to share with you. Lindsay, show us what you got over here today. We have the GSU-16 pistol. This is coming out in October. Okay, this is the 22, right? Yep, this is 22 LR. Okay, 22 LR GSG pistol. It doesn't come with a stock, obviously. Yep. All right, so when I did the GSG-9, I used the Gearhead Works uh, hook pistol brace, and that worked really, really yep. well for me. I guess you could use the same thing on this yep. if you wanted to. Yep. So does this have the uh, the, the ambidextrous? It does. Okay, that's cool. Um, bolt, bolt release? There, yep. Awesome, yep. awesome. Uh, everything same as the regular GSG, this is just the pistol brace. Yes, correct. What, what's the MSRP on this going to be? MSRP is going to be $429. $429.95, guys. That's a good entry-level price for that uh, really cool look that everybody's after. So do you got anything else new here this year? Is that kind of the first thing? I know you got the 9 millimeter. Yep, we have the oh, GSG yeah. 9, and this is super awesome. It comes with an adapter, and it takes Glock magazines. Or SIG. Or SIG. Yeah. Or SIG 320. You got yep. the adapter. Guys, if you want to see the full review on that, look on the channel. I just did a full review on the GSG-9. Really cool little gun. I think you guys will like it, especially for a $7.99 price point. You really can't go wrong with that. Yep. Lindsay, thanks for sharing that with us today, guys. Yep. Let's keep covering the show. What's going on, guys? Josh Sykes, Outdoor News America, continuing coverage Easton of the GOA, his first ever GOA show here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm here with my new buddy, Easton, at Leo Takedown. This is a really cool product I wanted to show you guys. Easton, show us what you got here today. Yeah, so what the Leo Takedown is, uh, quickest, easiest, strongest, uh, quick disconnect coupling for the AR out there. All you have to do is pull it back on the collar, pull straight out on the barrel. You can uh, break it down to a small package, carry it discreetly, stow it away. You can also change barrel length, change barrel calibers. You can go from something like this 16-inch 5.56 um, directly into something like this 8-inch 300 blackout. Same magazine, bolt carrier group, so with the swap of a barrel and a throwing in a fresh mag, you have totally different capabilities in a matter of seconds. Very cool. Now, you were showing me here, yes, they can now buy these yes, sir. That's already our new assembled, right? Yes, sir. So you get a nice uh, 7075 billet upper receiver uh, straight from us uh, with half the installation process already done for you. So uh, the only proprietary parts uh, come in this upper and with our barrel components in the kit. And you just gotta add the barrel and handguard to your choice to it. Very cool. Show us how this thing breaks down in that craftsman. Absolutely. Really so cool. when you pair it with a folding stock, you can get an incredibly small package. And uh, just in a matter of seconds, you can go from carrying it very discreetly to uh, having some serious firepower. Add a magazine, rack around. Very, rack very on. cool. So it's not a shower, it's a grower. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much. Let's keep covering the show. What's going on, guys? Josh Sykes continuing coverage of the Gun Owners of America first annual trade show in Knoxville, Tennessee. Here with my new buddy, Tim, from Big Kahuna Guns. He's got something really big to share with you guys. Tim, show us what you got here. Yeah, what we have here is a uh, uh, AR-15-based 50 BMG rifle system. Uh, com comes in uh, multiple barrel lengths, 30, 20, to uh, an 18. Uh, we make it is an AR-15 based uh, um, system, so this is an upper that fits on uh, any uh, AR-15 based upper. So you could buy just the upper and then build out the lower yourself. And this is a single shot? This is a single shot 50 BMG, okay. so, so, so it goes right in there. Right. And, then, and you can buy this system for about what? So this this is 1995. 1995. Um, and yeah, we, yeah, it does. It is an FFL item. We do ship to an FFL. For it. Okay. It, it, that's an uh, ATF. It's the only AR upper, yeah, upper that, that requires. has to go to an, to yeah. an FFL dealer. Yeah. But anybody can order this, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. And uh, and if, if you don't want to deal with building out the lower part, we, we can do that too. Okay. So we can build the full system. Or you can buy just the upper. Or you can just buy the upper. Does the, does the bipod come on the upper? So it, no, this the, the, the bipod is not included. It's not included, but you uh, this do is get the first stand. Yeah. The rail. Yeah. So we get uh, the Picatinny uh, okay. scope ramp. Perfect. Perfect. Scope ramp. If somebody want to get some more information about this or place an order, where do they need to go? BigKahunaGuns.com. BigKahunaGuns.com, guys. Hey, I like showing new things. Let's keep covering the show. 
So there we go, guys. That wraps up Goals 2024 Gun Owners of America show. Again, this was my first time coming to this show. Uh, to give you some solid feedback, I think it was a very good show. The turnout um, was very, very good. The aisles were fairly crowded. Uh, seemed like a lot of good interaction between consumers and manufacturers. Um, I think as uh, this organization continues to grow, the show is going to get better and better. I would highly encourage you, if you have never been to one, make plans next year. Put this on your to-do list and uh, get involved with Gun Owners of America. You can join the organization for $25 a year. Uh, it's a great organization to be involved with. They do support uh, any type of legislation that protects the Second Amendment. Not only do they support it, they actively fight it with their own lawyers, with their own uh, legal team and staff in the actual court systems, protecting your Second Amendment rights as an American. And uh, that's pretty uh, valuable uh, to me, and it should be valuable to you as well. So for more information, gunownersofamerica.org, I believe is the website. Be sure and check it out. I had a great time at the show. I hope you've enjoyed this little video as we walked around and talked to some of the manufacturers there. Uh, I know that I've enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Until next time, guys, we'll talk to you soon.